Okay, just so you know, this is not a pornographic film. So shut up, Andrew. But we're tiny. That's right, Jack. We are going to give you a tour of Rob's body. Because if we don't, the Aorta ad agency will kill us. Mmm, nachos. Rob, don't chew. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. So what first? Let's start with the digestive system. Here we are currently being digested. Here is where all your troubles can be solved. This is where you can throw your junk away. Jack is in the small intestines, home of the adorable microvilli and villi, where they will wipe your nutrients off your body. <laughs> that tickles. Then you have the grand opportunity of entering the large intestine. Roomy. This is where you have the comfort of having the water sucked out of you. Isn't that great? Ha! Then you have the comfort of relaxing for a while in the rectum. And then you are prepared to be exiled from the body. What a trip that will be. Mm, nachos. But for your traveling safety and entertaining safety, we are required to tell you some of the dangers of everything we see today. So, for the digestive system, a dangerous disorder called diarrhea, hemorrhoids, and even heartburn. Mmm, nachos. This tree represents the skeletal system. The trunk is the femur. The femur is the biggest and strongest bone in the skeletal system. What are all those branches? Those are the other bones. The clavicle is the easiest bone to break. With these attractions, you're sure to have a good time. But beware of osteoporosis and arthritis. If you're ever bored in the body of Rob, go see the muscular or circulatory system. <laughs> Here we are in the muscular system. There are three types of muscles. The smooth, the cardiac muscle, and the skeletal muscle. You can have a lot of fun with this. But please, take caution, for the muscle tends to pull, strain, tear, or cramp. Oh. And now, to your right, is the respiratory system. I can't breathe! That's good. Speaking of breathing, the respiratory system is the home of the famous lung that everybody depends on. You can go there and get his autograph, meet his avioli. Heck, if you're really lucky, he'll give you some carbon dioxide as a souvenir. Oh. But the lungs can't sign autographs if he is infected with lung cancer, tuberculosis, and other disappointing diseases. Hey, who are you guys? Uh, I'm Bob, from the, uh, central nervous system. Who are you? We're white blood cells, here to take out any foreigners. Nope, just on our, uh, daily patrol. Oh, okay. What's the central nervous system? Uh, 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 who wants some adrenaline? Ah, 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 no, that doesn't go there! Well, those were the white blood cells. They're part of the circulatory system, along with red blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Here in the body of Rob, you'll have nice, safe security, like those guys. The circulatory system is what keeps the body up and running. If the heart stops pumping, you stop pumping. Uh, right. 
In order for the heart to not fail, the white blood cells and immune system must protect it from diseases like leukemia, arthrodosis, and other diseases and disorders. Jack, that's the adrenal gland. It is? The endocrine system is what helps other body functions work. How did you get here, Rob? I ate myself. I was hungry. Mmm, nachos. Some diseases are Cushing syndrome and dwarfism. Hi, Yoda. Mmm, intruders, I see. Jack, why do you think Rob has Yoda in his body? He ate him when he was three. Brain, move the arm. Don't sass me, <laughs> jerk. Who are those people? Those are neurons. We're gonna travel to the brain now. How did Rob get a mountain in his body? He ate him when he was three. Oh man! <laughs> Nachos! Mm. Ah! Why does Rob think everything is nachos? Mm. Rob, don't eat those! Those are your brain cells! Ah, uh, never mind. He's just getting dumber. <laughs> right, um... This is where the messages from the neurons go. The brain and the spinal cord are the control system of the entire body. The nervous system is responsible for your fun. Everything in here controls the body. But the thing that threatens this control center would be drugs and alcohol. That's right, Jack. I'm right? Okay, and now ladies and gentlemen, we must see the final system of the body. The pickle? No, the excretory system. Oh, the pickle. Welcome everyone to the excretory system, and we will be sliding down the urethra that is filled with urine, and after that, we make our exit. But first, we must check to see if there are any kidney stones. Ah! Nope, no kidney stones. Well, this concludes our tour. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Wait a minute. We forgot Rob! Something isn't right here! When did we get a pool? <laughs> ah!